of mine's house that he rents out, the furnace crapped out. It's been all day on this thing. And there's something, there's a ghost in that machine. I don't know what it is. Meanwhile, the owner of the house, his uh, kids are coming in. I guess they're spending the week, so he's taking off. He's got the news on. So I'm like listening to things, uh, MSNBC on and off all day uh, just because I could hear it. And then he'd you know, go do something else and turn it off and then come back and turn it back on. And they're talking about the impeachment. And uh, yeah, so I was walking out to my out to go get something and I asked him I was like hey, what do you think about that and he says well you're probably not going to like this but but I think Trump is a crook I said okay but you think he should be impeached and he goes well my, I really think he's a crook that's my personal opinion and I said okay that, that's fine but can you show me a politician in Washington that's not a crook if you want to go to Washington, chances are it's because you are a crook. So like how many of these guys go in there and they're, uh, you know, they run for Congress and they mortgage their house and they, you know, they <coughs> empty the kids' college accounts. I mean, everything, everything goes into this campaign and they win. So their net worth is, you know, not much. And they do an okay job, bring something home to the, to the locals. And they get reelected. You know, ten years, ten years down the road, they're on a couple of committees. You know, they got a little respect, and they're worth, you know, five million bucks. They're making like three hundred thousand a year in ten years, even though they're renting a house in Washington D.C., which is about a hundred grand. Uh, you know, like on M Street, P Street down there in Georgetown, it's, it's pretty, pretty pricey. Plus, they got wherever the hell they live, where they come from. So they uh, got some real expenses for that paycheck. And somehow they parlay it into, you know, millions of dollars. But they can't balance the budget to save their life. Go figure. And he said, yeah, well, that, that's true. And I said, you know, what did he do that Biden was different? The Ukrainians were being invaded. Literally invaded by Russia. He said, knock off the investigation and cancel the, uh, fire the prosecutor and cancel the, the investigation. Otherwise, you're not getting the money. And that's Joe Biden's words, not mine. I'm not paraphrasing. That's Joe Biden. And he said, son of a bitch. Six hours later, he gave him six hours. Six hours later, he got a phone call. The prosecutor's fired and the investigation's over. But that's exactly what Trump's being accused of. Except that that's not exactly what happened with Trump. Trump was holding off fire and aid, foreign aid because he didn't want it to get squandered and stolen. And, uh, and he really truly believes that there was some collusion with the Democrats and Russia and Ukraine and old East Bloc countries to uh, try to trip them up. And they're probably, and well, depending on what you what you follow, you believe that there was. I believe there was. There's no reason why the Russians would want Trump to be president when they got everybody in their pocket. You know, especially Hillary. So in any event, uh, and I said, okay, well, regardless, you know, I'm not into the impeachment not because I think Trump did it or didn't do it, but because in Cressona, Pennsylvania, there's a big aluminum plant, and when Trump started reworking the uh, trade agreements, they, I don't know, at least a third more factory floor was added onto the building, hiring people like crazy to man the new machines, because Ford was bringing all of their uh, production of anything aluminum back to the states, and they had a big chunk of it. But because Congress has not looked at the new treaty, Ford hasn't brought any 
work up here. And because of that, the company spent a lot of money on a factory. They hired a bunch of new people, trained them, bought a lot of equipment, set it all up. And now they're uh, having layoffs because Congress is not doing their job. And that's, that's close to home, but that's also nationwide. You know, all the Rust Belt states, you know, were breathing new life because of the new trade agreements. And I'm sure they're not happening either. But that's something that Congress should be doing instead of wasting time on this impeachment. Obama should have been impeached. But John McCain should have been. Hillary. Harry Reid. The list goes on and on and on. You know, people you've never even heard of unless they're from your backyard. I mean, the corruption is... I mean, the House Bank, if you're a Congress or a Senator, you can write checks and it doesn't matter if there's any money in the account. They get cleared. It's just, it's just a slush fund. And there's lots of Senators and Congressmen who just, their rent is paid with these checks. They just write checks and they're cleared and there's never any money in the account. You know, I don't know how that works out. Why, why does, why does the House and the Senate have a fund to pay people for sexual discrimination suits? Somebody brings a charge, they write them a check. The people go away. Everybody's happy. It's all good. Except that it's out of the taxpayer's pocket. Why aren't those people investigated? Why isn't, you know, what's wrong with this whole thing? The Trump made a phone call, so therefore, well, Biden made the Trump the phone call, and he claimed to make the phone call, and he bragged about making the phone call. And, uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad stuff. Um, if anybody is interested, um, Angry Pirate News uh, is a YouTube channel, and he did a really good job of doing some research on the uh, Ukrainian end of it and the investigations that they are doing with the new prosecutor and the new the new president, the new prosecutors, a whole new administration, and uh, it's very eye-opening, you know, who they're going after. But um, I really suggest really suggest looking at it. It's a real quick video, a lot shorter than this, and it, it's uh, very, very good. And Angry Pirate News is a really good guy. Has great videos. are entertaining and very informative. So, anyway, this is getting real long-winded. You all have a good night.